Hey everybody, happy Friday. So, full moon, yeah, we're still in those effects, right? Many of us are feeling like a full moon, okay? We're feeling bloated, we're feeling tired, we're feeling inflamed, we're feeling, doesn't matter how much salt or sugar, it's not affecting anything, we're just feeling like a blowfish. And it's because the moon affects the ebb, the flow, the tides of the waters. What are we made of? 70% water. That's right. And then the menstrual cycle. It's always called the moon cycle. You're at the fullest peak. You're flowering. You're releasing. So many of us are feeling kind of that, I can't win or lose right here. And it feels uncomfortable. So I'm gonna ask you to take a moment here uh, to pause this video and get yourself in a seated position so we could just do one minute to reset the nervous system that will also help with increasing lymphatic flow. The lymphs are responsible for carrying nutrients and toxicities throughout the body and where they're supposed to go in or out. So the lymph is very, very important. So if you're having even the mildest lymphedema or just edema, inflammation, swelling, from whatever reason, the moon, the foods, the stress of your life, you're not digesting things like you normally would because you're just under this collective pressure cooker. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna let you pause. Okay, now that we've paused, let's go into a little bit of a breathing technique. We're gonna do two inhales through the nose and one out the mouth. The two inhales through the nose are short and firm. The one out the mouth is a little more forceful, which opens the diaphragm and the whole abdominal area up, allowing things to flow. So you ready? We're just gonna do this for one minute. It's gonna go like this. Keep going, you may feel a little bit lightheaded, just keep going with me. clear some phlegm. You're getting things moving. Just keep going with me. See, even the best nervous systems get a little tripped up and it gets confused on whether it wants to breathe in more or exhale more as you just saw me do. And so take a sensory out of it. Close your eyes. Start again. Slow the pace. Ready? more times. <sighs> no, 
Now I could feel my vagus nerve reset. My vagus nerve is what got me to the, <gasps> like a shock, like, hold on a second. I'm trying to command something to occur here and something's getting tripped up. And then as soon as I was able to do that and then come back and close my eyes, I immediately got this, <gasps> like, you can't really hear me say that, but it's like, <gasps> that occurs through the throat and the chest. And that, my friends, is a key that you're just resetting your vagus nerve and you're resetting your autonomic, your central nervous system. More importantly, you're kicking in your sympathetic so that you can get a cascade of some beautiful hormones and chemicals throughout your body to calm and reset so that now your organs can get reset, so they can go into the rhythm that they're supposed to be going in, specifically to a time of day. But you're in the commander seat. You get to take charge. So even if you think you're coasting along okay, full moon or no full moon, you wanna, you wanna get a reset. You wanna override what could be occurring, even if you think it's okay, try it. Just sit with it, take a sensory out of it, close your eyes. Maybe try it with your eyes open at first like we just did. See if you can get to 30, 40, 50, 60 seconds. And then maybe close your eyes and try it for another 20, 30, 50, 60 seconds. And then allow yourself at least a full minute to let things integrate and calibrate in accordance to what you are commanding your body to do. You can do this. Reset as often as you need during the day. Hell, you guys, we've got so much incoming energies that our body is just in this constant taser position. Constant. <coughs> It's just happening. <clears throat> It'll help get the phlegm going because it's opening up the bronchioles that allow the lungs to come up. And, you're doing an amazing, amazing exchange of oxygen, carbon dioxide back to oxygen. So your plants are loving you right now because you're giving them a little love as well. And your family and anything in your domain is going to be a little happier because you've taken the time to reset your mind. Hey, I'm a poet. All right, y'all, like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a message, okay? Leave me some comments, someone know how you're doing. And if you want a breath session, you want a meditation session, I'm your coach, embodimentofthesoul.com, all right?